Supplementum Alpha to Liquidia Domino. Signatra Unis Pia et P. Sun Simila Nastra. Brothers, sisters, kin and clan, it is time. Eivor, my father sets forth on his final voyage. May the winds favor him. The nobles have offered up their funeral gifts, all but you. Present what you have, and the celebration may begin. I have it here. shield bearing the sign of the web of weird woven into this shield as you wove your spirit into our lives may the skulls sing of you as the gods embrace you feast my friend in the halls of the free and brave stand at my side Speak from your heart, Emina-san. Today we mourn the passing of Heminger Jarl of Nottinghamshire. My father. Our father. He was a towering force. A strength to fear and admire. Now gone. Yet together we are the example of his greatness. I see him in each of you. His love for battle, but also peace. For wisdom, sorrow, and joy. His generosity, his spirit. In you I see his life and his love of drink. Gods, did he love drink? <laughs> we are these things because he was these things. Father, we shall be to our children what you were to us. And when they are ready, we will meet you again. You have made this old man proud, each of you. And you, us. Nine days, one eye hung from the tree. Nine worlds he saw. Nine runes he found. Nine nights he bled. Father, receive your loyal servant. Give him a fine farewell. Sunila, 
Ride to Hemthorpe and prepare the Longhouse for the All Thing. The next Jarl will soon take his seat. Have they given their Jarl a fine farewell? They have. None drink so well and so deeply as Clan Hemingerson. The declaration of succession must happen soon, before we are too drunk and exhausted to remember our names. I agree. Call on those who must attend. The All Thing will begin shortly. You look... uneasy. I'm not so drunk I cannot stand, but... Hang on to me a moment. You do your father proud by this celebration, and by taking his seat. He wanted this, Willy. I mourn for myself, Eivor. For us. You know my heart. It beats for the passion of battle heat. Not... not this. As long as I've known you, Vili, you have possessed a strength you rarely saw in yourself. A wildness, a joy for life. You are your father's son. But you have never let yourself be the fullness of that man. Not until now. A warrior rises with the dawn to follow fresh tracks in the new fallen powder. For that is where adventure lies. I will follow these new tracks, Eivor. Wherever they may lead. People of Hemthorpe, of Ulkerthorpe, of Snottinghamshire. We honor neither Drigvi nor my father by continuing to mourn. These men dedicated their lives to bettering all of Snottingham. They died in that service. Now, I humbly pledge my life to following in their path. And I ask each of you to rise. Be to me what Trigvi was to my father. Together, we shall build the world they wish to build. You have already learned that people prefer shorter speeches to long ones, Vili Jarl. <laughs> it will take time to wear that title with comfort. My father never swore a formal oath with your clan. There was no need, for you are family. 
Let it be known, the Hemingers and Clan Raven are true sworn friends from this day forward. Do you accept? Aye. Well? Be fair, be just, and call upon us often. Our stick. I'm sure I will. Sounds for a new arrival. Who would it be? And we will want to know about this. It is time I return to the settlement. Good day, my love. I bring fair tidings, Runry. Hemingway Jarl in Snottinghamshire has passed, but his clan remains allied to us. Sad news, but you made the best of it. I saw my old friend Vili on my visit. He is their Jarl now, and he has pledged to aid us in times of need. I want to see the Alliance map. What about Lincolnshire? A rather boisterous man named Hunwald arrived recently, wishing to speak with you. On a matter of great importance, he said. Where is he now? Down at the docks, carousing with my scouts and scaring the fish from the river. He waits for you with great eagerness. He sounds charming. I will meet him at once. Protect your ears. Uber Ragnarsson has come. He claims to have some business with you.
Ah, the gods are smiling on us today, Eivor. Nice to see Sigurd back where he belongs. I would like to see what you have in stock. Is that what you want? Ready for battle. I have to go. See you soon. Fight well, Eivor. This is true. Eivor! Life in the rough, in the... You may think this odd, but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem. May I recite it for you? Go on, Lord the Boy. Make me tremble. Oh, indeed, I shall try. I call it Ode to a Hungry Flame. Another skald come to join us. Me? Oh, goodness, no. I'm no skald, no. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your meat. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. You must understand that Eivor has more enemies than friends in Mercia, Lord. Before I drag you off by your knob to meet him, I'd like to know your name. Yes, forgive me. I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family. That's a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again. If I knew my father was ill and beyond saving, I would ready myself to take his place. Will you take up his burden should he fall? Oh, banish the thought that such a great man should perish. But if he were to pass... Yes. Yes, I believe I could. I must. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son, raft of his father's protection, now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now. But when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. Ah! You are the chieftain here. I suspected as much. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of the shield wall, but there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the ruin. I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that... I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord Boy. Safe travels! God bless and keep you all. I fear I may be escorting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up.
grow in these waters. No raising the sail here. Take the mask Sit down! Here. We need Raise the mast! I was eleven winters old. I was the old arm good scum. Sail out! Sail. Yeah. All right, back to the story. When I was eleven winters old, I was the youngest of my favorite cousins. A wild and rowdy bunch of boys and girls. Together with our parents, we attended a feast at the home of Halfdan the Black of the House of Ingling. To toughen our patience, our parents set us with the old woman who ordered us to bake flatbreads and serve it to the noble yards. After an hour, the... ...so high into pillars, you could have built a roof over it and called it a longhouse. When our work was done, an older boy, Guthrod, suggested we steal a keg of mead and drown in happiness for our good work. So Guthrod, Mikkel and Orsa snuck into the storeroom and stole a barrel as I stood watch. But when we were spotted, I froze. Three of Harold's men stopped us. They struck Guthrod and Mikkel and pushed Orsa to the ground. Whose idea was this? They asked. I stood and said, We can continue later. What's the meaning of this? Go, Zulin. This is Humboldt's safe haven. Though we be a Mercian Shire today, tomorrow the kingdom of Lindsay will run. Hunwald, who is this stranger? Eivor, come sit. Bread and ale, please, alewife. I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me, one of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We are going to see your father, Hunbald. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Hunbald, your father's ill. And your enemies have every advantage under the sun. Do you have a plan? Or have I come all this way to watch you drink this watery piss? Of course, my friend. I am a man of action above all else. Ready to leap and dance and fight. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I'll walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln. Away. But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard. A single Dane will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here he'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in.
All right, a quick brawl to get familiar with the local dregs. Nothing welcomes us more into the day than a swift bruising. Is this what it means to be your friend? We shall triumph, Eivor. We shall win this ugly round. You're losing, Eivor. My bladder is bursting. I must step outside for a long-deserved slash. Keep them dancing. One bolt. Don't one. Clear out, all of you, before you kick up a fire. Jesus, my bones are aching. Could you use a dip in the sea? Shut your hinge, chill. And stop dripping blood in my hall. I told Humboldt to stay near. Where did he wander off to? Hunwald is in trouble. They call this pasty whelp a lord. Look at him. Leave him be! Jesus! He's brought up bloody Dane! Oh! I have been struck down! An inch of my life! But I will survive! I must! Continue as you were, Eivor! And if I should expire... This ain't worth the silver they's paying us! Damn you! I live! I am alive! Heaven have mercy! Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Bottleston will be remembered for years to come! Alfgar, we have won our first great victory! Humboldt, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me, the son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairals and serfs of this shire? What cause have any to... There! We could sail the waters to Lincoln, sink the ships of any enemies in our way. What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to scream. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse pucky! Mercian soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river Wash, and told me plainly... Start anew elsewhere, or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death. Hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Humboldt. I can't help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never. No, I suspect the order for my exile came from on high. Perhaps one of Burgred's final orders before he was deposed. Burgred was battling Danes until the end. He had bigger things to worry over. Perhaps you're right. He's too contained. It must have been King Alfred, then. King Alfred of Wessex? That's another kingdom entirely. Yes, but Alfred has a fearful hatred of the Danes. He must have heard that I am courting one. A beauty who knows no equal. Your Dane lady love. Right.
Here's Lincoln, the city of my birth, the cauldron of my presence. Shouldn't be seen here. The hood should work. Mercian guards everywhere. Follow me. Right behind you, Shadow. Don't leave me. Thank you, Shadow Walker. My heart beats like the drums of your dragon boat. Damp on the this air. town was your fear. Great clouds would it gather was soon. and should Aye. still be. Oh, to see it now fills my eyes with tears. Save weeping for prayers. We're not inside yet. One day I won't have to skulk around this town with my face hidden. I will walk proudly among the people I love. My dear Reagan hair, body and soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Who took the Elderman? Was it soldiers, or men of God? There were men with swords, and those of the cloth. And a healer, too. One who had oft been a guest in this house. Galwina. One of the sisters my father put great faith in. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there? At the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. Who was that fellow? Reagan hair? He's an old fixture of my family's household. Loyal to the end. He helps run the place. 
and he's known me since I was but a little lordling. A simple fellow, but worth every pinch of his salt. They will attack on sight here. from those bandit smugglers. They hoard everything. sent forewarning of your return to avoid the violence that dogs you. Lives might have been spared. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumored dead? Oh, worse than dead. It is my reluctant duty to report the rumor that you were lost in the north, bedding a Dane on some squalid farm. I have no patience for insult and rumor. We have come to speak with Lord Hunbior. That is all. Lord Hunbior has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. 
Once the storm has passed... What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Unwald. In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against the Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwald. You arrive after a strange absence, with a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. If I meant to murder you, these stones would be slick with your gore already. Such violence. Good heavens. God must have purpose for you pagans in his holy plan, but I confess to utter bafflement. Hanwald, your father was at my hospice for a time, but he left of his own accord, without saying a word. That's all we know. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scurrying thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. Stay within these walls where you're safest. I'll have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. Hunwald's father was recuperating here not long ago. Someone may have seen him depart. Jammed. Need to get on the other side. Are you the head sister here? Aye. And I'm not too comforted by the sight of you wielding weapons like a war chief. We're a hospice, not a barracks. It's bad enough I've got these armored cod pieces watching me work. Now you! No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins, just south of here. I'll look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care.
Mati! Má vera vitlis. If you ask me, what choice do we have? At least this way, they'll leave us be. They killed one of their own. What's to stop them from splitting our skulls as well? Because they fear it, see? Wait! No one takes Yes! We've got you now! You've never been born! These tunnels run deep. Was the Ultimate fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln? I should be cautious around here. More Mercians traipsing across our route. Come from here to Bolingbrock without someone to run some ungodly oh, This traffic has made smuggling a difficult job. Smuggling will always be difficult. Hmm. 